Tonight's big game coverage kicks off at Comalander Stadium. The Churchill Chargers ready to take on undefeated Johnson. Jaguars showing they mean business on the opening possession. Ty Reisner slings it to Cannon fairly in stride, and he is gone. A 61-yard touchdown puts the Jags on top 7-0. Chargers with a quick response on the ensuing drive. Quarterback Christian Smith keeps it himself and knifes in for the eight yard score to tie it up at seven, but Johnson goes on to win it 45 14. Cheerleaders all dressed up for Halloween tonight at Hero Stadium as Roosevelt takes on Brandeis. Rough Riders rolling early in this one. Quarterback Dwayne Coleman pulls the ball down and takes off. And look at the speed here. No one's going to catch him. A 29 yard touchdown gives Roosevelt a 10 0 lead. Brandeis answers back late in the half. Garen Andre dumps it off for Tyler Lopez. And look what he found. A 10-yard touchdown makes a 10-7 game at the half. And believe it or not, that is the final score. Roosevelt wins 10-7. The trombone section was hot dogging for a morning game today. Southwest hosting Southside. Cardinals rolling in the first half. On third and 36, Richard Torres dumps it off to Michael Tamayo on a screen pass. And he weaves his way through the defense along the far sideline, cuts back inside, and he finds some daylight for a 66-yard touchdown and puts the Cardinals up 28-0. Southwest answers back though with under a minute left to play in the half on fourth and seven at the 16. Nathan Gomez hits Andre Mitchell in the end zone. Dragons get on the board to make it 28-7 at the break. Let's head to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final. Southside gets the win 42-14 and YMLA wins the first varsity game in program history. 63 to nothing. The big game in last night's big game coverage was a good one. Brackenridge won their first game of the season in dramatic fashion. After Sam Houston came back to force overtime, quarterback Carlos Camargo scored the game winner in OT to give the Eagles the 26-20 victory. Not a bad way to start head coach Willie Hall's final season at the helm. Nothing like this. Uh, it was a very exciting game. Uh, we started out early, Sam Houston fought back, and, and it ended up being a tug of war. We came back on, flipped the switch, and we kept the boat moving. That's all that matters. Took them over and over time. They're a good team, but we just executed a little bit better. We go through a lot of composure training at school. Our coaches are on this 24-7 to make sure that we stay calm throughout everything, and uh, this was just another practice test that we normally accomplish. Brack will take on Burbank next Thursday at SAISD Sports Complex.